Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. And we got a door that we don't want any uh, hardware exposed on the outside, kind of a concealed look, you might say. And I'm looking at your touch latches. In fact, I was just watching a video done by one of your people on a C12, no, CL12. And, uh, well, he's covering several. Uh, he's a blabbering mouth, that guy. Watch out for him. Is he, he talks, well, I'm 26, no, I'm nine minutes into it, and he's got 26 minutes to go. <laughs> or total <laughs> on it. So he does a good job, though, uh, covering it. And I said, well, I, I better cut to the chase. And uh, what uh, for a, a standard size door, let's say it's, I, I'm not sure if it's a 3.0, but let's say it's that, uh, because he's cautioning about, you know, a very heavy door versus a standard door etc what size you need i mean which model you need uh can you give me just a sense of direction and then we'll go from there well what can i say beyond what's already been said um what, what i guess what is the question well okay for a standard door let uh, i i don't even know what the weight they are i'm, I'm not a carpenter i'm just uh, doing some leg work here. Uh, they, what do they weigh? 30, 40 pounds, something like that. A, a standard door? A solid, a standard solid core door. I'd, I'd say they Three probably old. weigh about six pounds per foot. Well, pardon me, per square foot. Per square foot, okay. So, okay. So, if, uh, I guess what you're saying is, uh, a C12, CL12 is going to be more than adequate. Uh, oh, I didn't say that at all. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, so, I mean, six pounds a foot, you know, and if you've got basically 20 square feet, you got a 120-pound door. That CL12 is not made for doors of that uh, weight, even though I know people do it, have done it, and will forever continue to do it. Um, and they do seem to operate. I would uh, tell you that people that have done it with – reasonable success in the past have always added the CL14 auxiliary pusher to it. CL, um, yeah, I remember him talking about that auxiliary pusher. This is all foreign to me. CL14 with aux pusher. Okay. And uh, availability of that, I... They're in stock, ready to ship. Ready. Okay. Cost on a CL14? Uh, CL14. Uh, about $26. 26 Cheap enough. Where are you located? Southern Florida. Okay. So, okay. I think you have answered my question. I've got... Uh, the input, i got to run it by the guys that know a little bit more than I do, but uh, I'm just trying to do the legwork. So I appreciate the information. Okay. Sure thing. The, the real key with installing that is to observe the gap that needs to occur between the face of the door and the unit itself. Um, and if it's not observed, then you can find that you've got the door locked and it has to be rested open. Um, yeah. So, you know, you that's, guys, that's what. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I yeah, I, I was just going to say that's what you want to caution um, the installer about. Right. Yeah, the uh, guy that uh, hung it with the, uh, the, I guess they refer to it as soft hinges, he, uh, you know, cautioned us on making sure that we get the, uh, the right type of uh, touch latch. And so... Uh, he had to go on to another job, but he'll come back and do the work. Uh, so, uh, and the pusher, it sounds like on the size door that I'm talking about, 
is uh, something you would recommend along with that CL14? Absolutely, and that's simply based on knowing that other people have used that in the past on inch and three-quarter doors that are easily 80 pounds in weight. Um, you know, okay. and if your door is truly not going to be anything remotely that close, you can always add it later if you find that the action on the touch latch is a bit sluggish or um, you find that when you push the door in, it doesn't pop back out smoothly because you need it to come out aggressively from the um, the strike from the case in order for it to unlatch. Yeah, yes. I've got a, well, I, I won't bore you with my situation. Bore me, bore uh, me. Well, I got an equipment room with, you know, uh, nice cabinetry, and I got all my electronics in there, et cetera. They put a touch latch on that. Uh, this is 20 years ago, and uh, at times they got a really whack on it, so to speak, you know, to get it to respond. And I've often thought, you know, this there's got to be a, a better, either it's not rigged right or it uh, it needs a better device you know, to kick it out, you know, so you yeah. can get a hold of it. You know, that's it might that's just be awesome. too heavy. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Uh like I say, I'm I have no background in this stuff, so I'm just trying to uh do some legwork ahead of time and let somebody make a decision on what they want. Uh if we are looking for this, how do I go about getting the pusher in addition to the C L fourteen? Uh, is it? Do you just put aux pusher in your? Uh, I'm on your uh, your website right now. Uh, is that how you identify it, or is there a particular number with it? Yes, to the latter. The, you'll just search CL14, and then you'll select the color you want. I've assumed US 2060, which is satin chrome. Okay. And the pusher? That is the pusher, the CL14. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh okay, that okay, I'm a little confused, pardon me. Uh so the touch latch is including the pusher is the CL14 is what you're no, sir. telling me. No. No, sir, I did not say that. You want a CL12. There'll be two line items on your order. You want a CL12 and then a CL14. You need them both. Okay, CL12 14 and they're about 26 bucks a piece. Is that what the pusher is? Um, the CL12 is probably in that range. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's about $30. $30, yeah. That's what the carpenter said it would be in that range. Okay, good. Okay, I appreciate the info. Your name, please? Richard. If, Richard. Okay. I'm the Thanks, blabber mouth of the video. Oh, oh, that's you, huh? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, you uh, did a good job. <laughs> Long-winded, uh, albeit there are certain people that really need the forensic level, and, you know, we're archiving it for all time, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, the importance of the template and getting everything lined up, I, I can understand the importance of that, just – what little I know about carpentry and doors, et cetera. So uh, I, I think we got a guy with the right capability of installing. It's just we got to get the right hardware. So Yeah, and, and in the hands of a capable guy, they can make the wrong hardware work sometimes too. So there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Richard, thank you. And to you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.